morning, good morning, what up, what up, you? What's going on, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to the Sheer Brilliance Podcast. My name is Barack Bashir, but you can call me Sheer, and we got a game today. The New York Knicks face off against the Brooklyn Nets, our Cross River rival. So we want to talk a little bit about it, have this preview, watch this game, see how it turns out. But hopefully it doesn't turn out too terrible. You know what I mean? If our New York Knicks step up, show up, and show what it is that they can do. Our last few games have been really, really impressive in terms of our effort, our engagement, and really stepping up to the challenge. Hopefully this is the theme of the season for the rest of the season. And then we see where our chips fall. But I wanted to make this video just to kind of talk a little bit about what we can look at and expect for this game. And, um, and hopefully what the New York Knicks can do and commit to in order to see if we can steal one by pulling this out. Because the New York Knicks know that they're up against a championship level team today. You know, the Brooklyn Nets have really put together a roster that is impressive. And it's also deep. So, let's get into it. First and foremost, I think what's going to be key for us is going to be our matchup in the middle. Mitch Robinson has his hands full today. Jericho Sims, Todd Gibson. Our boys in the middle have their hands full today. We have a Brooklyn team that boasts a large lineup. Andre Drummond has always given Mitch Robinson problems. Um, DeAndre Jordan was on our team at a certain point. So he know Mitch Rob's game. And Mitch Rob hopefully knows his game as well. And, Nick's, and Nick Claxton is a young stud for their squad. So our boys in the middle, man, they got their work cut out for them today. The key in terms of the middle is hopefully that we stay out of foul trouble. Our boys in the middle need to stay out of foul trouble. Um, they need to be active. They need to be engaged. They need to be hitting the offensive and the defensive boards. Because that's what Drummond does. He is an offensive rebounding monster. And he's usually given Mitch Robinson problems with his uh, presence in the paint. His height, his size, his ability to rebound. Man, Mitch Rob is in for it today. But hopefully they're in for it uh, on the Brooklyn side today as well with Mitch Robinson and Jericho Sims. Next, I want to say there is no matchup against KD. Kevin Durant is, is a top 75 player in this league. You know what I mean? It's going to be a problem. You know what I mean? For us today when guarding KD. The only thing that we can hope for is that we play him physical. That he may get a little bit banged up today. And that the rims are tiny on today. Because if you watch many of his games, this man doesn't hit the net. He is on another level. He is like last dragon. Uh, he's found his glow level. You know what I mean? It's, it's just going to be tough. We're just going to have to eat that one and let him get whatever he's going to get today. The, the plus side that we have going for us is that there's no Kyrie. You know what I mean? So thank you, Kyrie. But man, it would be scary hours with all KD, Kyrie, and Ben Simmons gets on the court. <laughs> That's going to be tough to stop. So if they remain healthy, they're going to be a challenge. But that's not our problem for today. Our problem for today is going to be KD. So uh, the best that we can do is just hopefully make him work on the defensive side, get him in early foul trouble as well. And then hopefully we can kind of um, temper his output for today. This next, next team not only has great size that they boast, but they also have three-point ability uh, in terms of their game. Seth Curry, Patty Mills, KD. So it's going to be key that the New York Knicks really be smart around the three-point line, but also be aggressive in making sure we press them and disrupt them and not let them get comfortable open shots. That has been a problem that we've had in the, in, in the past in terms of defending the three-point line. But we're going to have to today because this Brooklyn Nets team will take those shots early. Um, they'll either get the crowd behind them or they'll take the crowd out of it. And before you know it, we are pulling ourselves out of a 25-point hole in the second quarter. And, and we can't afford to do that against this Brooklyn Nets team, especially this team that knows that this city is Knicks Nation. You know what I mean? So they're going to want to do their best to make a point and send a message to us that 
they're here and that they're championship contenders. So hopefully, you know, um, our perimeter defense is on point and we can remain and keep this game within striking distance. Um, what we're going to need from our side, man, we need everybody to show up today. This needs to be a full team effort. What we do not need is for Julius Randle to feel as if he has to put this team on his back only and take over and win this game for us. We do need a big monster game out of Julius. We need Julius to, to do what Julius does when he is playing at the top of his game. That's to play physical. That's to uh, attack the basket. That's to know when it's the right time to be versatile and mix his game up. Two point shots here, fadeaways here, drive to the basket, three point shots when he's open. But we need him to be a matchup nightmare for the Brooklyn Nets as well. We also need Bully RJ. And we can't afford RJ, we can't afford for RJ to have a slow start. I said this in the last game as well. Uh, we really need RJ to be able to be hitting his shots early. Uh, we need a couple of Rice M1s. On the so if we can get him to attack the basket and, and really um, be locked in and focused on getting fouls and drawing fouls from the other team, that's the type of RJ that we need for today. We need Burks to show up. We need Burks and his versatility, his mid-range game. We need him to show up on that. Uh, him attacking, attacking the basket as well. We need to get to the foul line, slow this game down, and hit our free throws. Can't say this enough. You are not going to beat the Brooklyn Nets if you don't attack the paint, uh, get fouled, and hit your free throws. Just not going to be able to do it. But also, we need our three-point barrage to be present today in order for us to win this game. So that means Julius, Barrett, Fournier, Burks, Anybody who is out there who has three-point shooting ability, we need for them to show up today. Because this is going to be a tough game where we need to be clicking on all cylinders just to have a chance. We don't have that level of talent just yet. So we need to be scrappy. We need to be consistent. We need to slow the game down a little bit. And we need to be physical in order for us to have a chance to win this game. The Brooklyn Nets have done a great job of putting their roster together. Slowly but surely, piece by piece, they're building the team. So kudos to their front office. Because to get Seth Curry, to get Ben Simmons, you know, to get Patty Mills, um, to be able to draft and develop Nick, Nick Claxton, to have KD and Kyrie there, it's taken a while for them to get the right mix. But man, they look good. Their chemistry between KD and Kyrie is impeccable. And if they remain he healthy, you're going to be a problem for this for this league for at least another two to three years. So, but F that. We're not here to talk about the Brooklyn Nets, so big up the Brooklyn Nets. It's Knicks all day, Knicks Nation all day. So, scary hours hopefully for them. Um, once again, free throws. Bring our lucky charms, uh, Nick fans. We got to bring our lucky charms out because, and I'm not talking about the cereal. I'm talking about whatever it is that we can bring and put forth to win this game because we're going to need it today. Our boys have a challenge ahead of us and hopefully we are engaged, Tibbs have them ready and we attack them and, 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 and make a statement that we are here and we got next. Enjoy the game. Let's talk a little bit after the game and recap. If it's a win, then we go into Knicks Deli and we're going to see who the bacon, egg, and cheese of the game is, who the top cheese of the game is, who's the portal water that lit on fire to put us over the top. Hopefully we're having Knicks Deli after the game or tomorrow morning to be able to celebrate a New York Knicks victory. But until then, the same thing applies to life as applies to our team, especially today. Keep in mind, if there's no struggle, there's no progress. And not only are we here, but we got next. Let's go Knicks. I'm out.